Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Super Junior Celebrate! I'm so excited, we're gonna check out the album tomorrow. I actually have a few Super Junior videos I'm doing today. Um, I forgot the album came out today, so I was like, oh shoot, well, we'll release that first. But I'm doing a few things, I actually also already filmed a few things for Super Junior, so... This will just be out before that, so just know I filmed those things before. But let's hop into the video. It looks... I have hiccups, my god. It looks Christmassy, which... I don't know. I don't know if it's a Christmas song, maybe they just made it Christmas themed for the video. I'm not, I was hoping it would just be a regular song and I was like, wait, maybe this is a Christmas song and their album comes out next week or something, but nope, it's this song. So I'm curious on how this is going to sound, um, but let's hop into the video. Okay, okay. Did Shindong direct this? It gives Shindong vibes. Me thinking he directs everything now. That looks like a baby channel. Oh. Yeah. It's giving Christmas vibes. This reminds me of a Got Seven's Christmas video, Miracle. Oh. Ooh, that echoing is nice. So is the little boy representing him? I'm confused. Are they watching him? Okay, they're watching him. Oh! I saw the behind the scenes. I need bad scenes with the baby. Oh my god! Shut up! Your, your song, what? What song? I'm watching Don't Hit With A Child. It's so cute. That's actually his son, guys. So you don't know it's actually his son. He's just been hiding him. I guarantee some idols have kids and they're just hiding them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Ooh, I like that hair on took. Oh, this is a bop though. Like, I just watched uh, Red Velvet and Aspa's song and I was like, okay, this is a nice Christmas song. This is a song, this reminds me more of like EXO's Christmas songs, where EXO's Christmas songs, you can listen to a lot of them outside of Christmas. Um, and that's why I think this may not be technically a Christmas song. I think it's more just a bat, not a ballad, but like, uh, it's more like a sweet song that can be used for Christmas. Because it does say like, some quotes in there that do clearly lead to a Christmas. So is that them when they're older? It's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cute. Hey, he chill. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I love, I love videos like these. Where we, oh, shut up. Don't make fun of me. That's so freaking cute. Don't look at me. What if they die at the end? It's the notebook all over again. Oh, it's giving, it's giving the greatest showman. Um, close my eyes and they can see. What's the song? The song at the beginning. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite song in the freaking movie. Why do I not remember? Oh, A Million Dreams. After A Million Dreams. I don't need to look it up. A Million Dreams. Um, 
if you haven't seen the movie, uh, it begins with um, the the main character, I forgot his name, the ringleader of the circus. Uh, he meets this girl when he's like like a little older than them, probably like ten, and they run away and have some like they just goof around and run out of the house or whatever. And he shows them, oh, they're at the beach, yeah. And he shows them, he shows her like this little house and everything, and has this little like light or something that like shows all the animals, and they basically imagine a world together. Literally, that's like lyrics of the song, and it you just see them. Like, she gets taken away, and it's, like, the first ten minutes of the movie. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's, like, up, but, like, they don't die. <laughs> and, like, she's, like, at a girl's boarding school, and they send each other letters, and he gets older and older, and then he eventually goes back to the house, and she's an adult, and he's, like, let's go. And he's, like, hello, sir, to the dad, and he's, like, he goes with her, and, like, it's, it's, it's I like stories where... I'm usually not a fan of K-dramas where it turns out they met each other as kids because it's so out of left field and never adds anything. It's cute when you see them as kids and then they get older because when you just kind of swing it out of left field, it feels like an unnecessary connection you added that adds nothing to the story and it kind of like ruins a bit of the vibe where you think they just met for the first time. So that's why I think these things are really cute. I love it. I love it. It also reminds me of The Notebook, but I'm not a fan of The Notebook, so. Controversial. I did cry, but I'm not a fan. Oh! I need to see the behind the scenes. <laughs> oh! Never mind. Screw you. Did they just ruin the storyline? That wasn't them at- Why'd they do this to us? Wait, look, why are you so aggressive here? <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad. Whoa, did I misread it? Did I just make incest happen? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should delete this video. Don't see this reaction. I'm embarrassed now. That's so awkward. That's really awkward. I guarantee they actually did that on purpose, didn't they? They did that on purpose, I guarantee. They were like, this is just like the manga music video where the ending's like... Oh, why'd they do this to me? They really just... I swear it was on, they did it on purpose. I'm not stupid. They knew what we were thinking. I'm awkward now. I, I gotta leave. Why'd they do this? It, it, why? That was such a super junior video. Unnecessary plot twist. Anyways, my rant about The Greatest Showman makes no sense now, so I'm uncomfortable. I'll have to leave this conversation. Regardless, it was a cute video. And I need to the scenes, because we can see them with the babies. And I better see... And I'm talking to the babies, and it's gonna be so cute. Um, speaking of, I'm watching Q Hyun's video he just released, so looking forward to that. Um, but that is it for this video. I'm uncomfortable. I love the song. The song's great. The video's great. I'm just they 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 tricked me, right? Cause like you guys thought it too, right? I'm not alone here. You also thought, oh, it was them getting older. They filmed it that way. I guess it was just saying like a celebration of different eras of love. But then, well, I guess it can be a brother and sister love. <sighs> I misread the situation. And this is just like those trends of like siblings or lovers, which is really uncomfortable. So I need to leave. <laughs> but that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the album reaction. Bye.